In the realm of renewable energy, dye-sensitized solar cells, or DSSCs, have emerged as a promising technology that offers a sustainable and affordable alternative to traditional silicon-based solar cells. First introduced by Michael Greitzel and Brian O'Regan in 1991, DSSCs, also known as Greitzel cells, have a unique structure that sets them apart from conventional solar cells. They consist of a porous layer of titanium dioxide nanoparticles coated with a molecular dye that absorbs sunlight, like the chlorophyll in green leaves. This allows DSSEs to mimic the natural process of photosynthesis. When sunlight strikes the dye molecules, they absorb the light and become excited, releasing electrons. These electrons are then transferred to a semiconductor material, which conducts them to an external circuit, creating an electric current. This ingenious design means that DSSCs can produce electricity even under low light conditions, including indoor lighting. The beauty of DSSCs lies in their simplicity and versatility. Unlike traditional silicon-based solar cells, which require high purity materials and complex manufacturing processes, DSSCs can be made from low-cost, readily available materials. The dyes used in DSSCs can be derived from a wide variety of sources, including organic compounds and natural pigments, offering a greener alternative to conventional solar cells. As summer heat waves continue to shatter historical records, it's also important for solar cells to be able to function in the heat. DSSCs are more stable at extreme temperatures than silicon-based solar cells. They work just as efficiently at 149 degrees Fahrenheit as they do at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas silicon cells start to lose 20% of their energy efficiency at high temperatures. The technological applications of DSSEs are vast and varied. In the consumer electronics industry, DSSEs have already been used since 2009, first appearing in backpacks and bags in Hong Kong. The solar panels built into these bags could produce enough energy to recharge mobile electronic devices like mobile phones, e-books, cameras, and portable LED lighting systems. In the building sector, DSSEs can be integrated into windows, skylights, and facades to generate electricity while allowing light to pass through, creating energy-efficient buildings. In remote areas with limited access to the electricity grid, DSSEs can provide a reliable and sustainable source of power. But despite these advantages, DSSEs face several challenges that need to be addressed in order to fully realize their potential. One of the main issues is their relatively low efficiency when compared to silicon-based solar cells. While significant progress has been made in improving the performance of DSSCs, further research is still needed to enhance their efficiency and stability. Another challenge is the use of liquid electrolytes, which can leak and cause degradation over time. Researchers are currently exploring alternative materials, such as solid-state electrolytes, in order to overcome this problem. With the ongoing advancements in material science and nanotechnology, the performance of DSSCs is expected to improve significantly, opening up new possibilities for their use. For instance, DSSCs could be used to power electric vehicles, thereby reducing carbon emissions and contributing to a cleaner, greener future. So what do you think about the potential of DSSCs? Will they play a pivotal role in the global transition to renewable energy? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.